made it to Ash Canyon in the last episode. Nastrid's just stepped herself into the Angler's, cal Angler's Den cabin. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman, and welcome back to the Long Dark, an hour faithful cartographer interloper run. I do like walking that direction. For those of you that didn't watch last time, we, by all means, go back. It's about the safest way to get from Timberwolf to here, so long as you're just careful with the wolves. So we're going to go ahead and loot the cabin and maybe set up a little bit of a base here just for a couple of few. Hey, we got a pot. Wonderful. How good was it? I didn't even look. A 78. Wonderful. That allows us to make a little bit of water and a little bit of stuff. Um, we do need to loot the cabin, and we do need to, do need to figure out what's going on here. So we're going to get a couple of arrowheads, as always, some simple tools. I was hoping for the red box. We did not get it. That's fine. And that there is a pry bar, which is the reason why I didn't bring a pry bar. However, there are no lock lockers or cars in this zone. Generally, I've never ever had the one lock. Well, I should say one locker in this zone locked ever. So there's the gold mine diary page. There's a little bit of dog food. I know it's a little bit dark. And today we're going to get two it. packs of matches. Now, again, this is one of those things. This area is really kind of rough for certain spawns, and especially if you don't know what the heck you're doing. This pack of matches right here is guaranteed. It's there all the time, or at least it's there every single time I've come into this zone. Now, the reason why you want to head for this area is because immediately you're going to have at least a little bit of food, a lot of wood, and plenty of cattails. And that's the whole point of coming to this area. Do we have any charcoal? Did we get any? Good deal. All right, we're going to sort our inventory because apparently we have an ungodly amount of stuff on us. And we need to go ahead and figure out how we're going to sort the rest of the day out. So we're going to do this, and I'm going to drop... about that much i did it anyway well, put this away i don't need it right now one two three four five all right pick it up that's enough we got plenty of sticks four is sufficient we're gonna drop that many of those come on mouse let's work with me here now we're gonna need to go get some food we're actually a fire from fire starting five probably a couple of fires from fire starting five i would like to get some food so that we can possibly read that system up and figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this excess stuff in here. This is going to be base for a while. Once we get done with a few things, we're going to be basing here. So I'm going to leave that here and that here and that here. I'm going to just leave all of those and a good number of that. Just give me like five back. That'll be fine. This zone does not have a lot of cloth in it, so you kind of want to pay attention to that as you're wandering around. You know, make sure you don't accidentally leave things that you don't need somewhere. And again, a thousand sewing kits. Gotta love it. I don't need you. We're just, we'll just put you in there for safekeeping should we need you. And a, a, another massive amount of matches. Love it. I think we'll stick with about that many. 29, 30 matches should be sufficient to get us through everything that we need to do for a while. And, yeah, it sounds like the wind is not too fantastic. Let's put everything that's not a decent amount of torches. There we go. Cool. And then look around. So we should have gotten everything else. All of that stuff can stay. We do have a pail that if we need to, we can get a small piece of scrap metal. This is a piece of this scrap metal or two. Um... Of course, as always, anglers, is th th this zone is a royal pain in the tail. So let's go see what we have outside. Sunshiny day. Can we go bag a deer real quick? Knowing that anything we kill over here is going to be fun. The other one go there it is okay make sure we pick all these cattails we're we've been short on cattails for a while now i gotta be careful there's a couple of wolves live over here as well as the possibility of a couple of deer and a chitter chatter and astrid that's cold
Both of them are here. Love it. Settle down, guys. Quit walking. Uh, you're going to go that way. Can I get around this truck? How are close are we? Seriously. We got a long way to go, or at least a book and a couple of shots. Gotta warm up somehow. Where are you going to be? Where'd it go? It's right behind that hill. Which one are you gonna stop first? Wait. <laughs> I'm so cold. I'm Put your head down. Now, just because we don't have Archery 5 doesn't mean you can't walk right up on one of them and plink them right in the face. You just have to understand how to do it. You have to wait for them to stop. We'll probably miss both of them. Like that. Now the problem is, is that other one ran off that direction over here. And because he ran over there, there's a chance the wolves are gonna get him. So we have to keep an eye on him. Where did he go? Where did you go, my friend? He's right there. Where's the wolves? They're over there. Okay. As soon as we crack into this guy, which I don't even know if I can right now with the way the wind's blowing. Oh, we might be able to. Start a fire and see what happens. The way the wind's blowing right now, we might be able to. So let's get him set up. We need some food. We're going to be mapping. we got to do all this fun stuff. I was going to say, we were going to go get the pack today. We're not going to go get the pack today. We'll probably go get it next episode. I need to go get food, and we're going to map some of this area first. Although we may just run and go get it after we get this done. Perfect. Come on. All right, nice. Now we will use our hacksaw. Those down. Might get lucky, it might stay just the way the wind's blowing right now. How long was those, 40 minutes? Beautiful. All right. That'll work for there. Get the rest of this. freaking blizzard of course well at least it cooked of course a blizzard So make a run. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. This pack is just perfectly fine. It's got a whole bunch of food in it and a deer skin and a couple of other things. Uh, 
Let's see, put those down. And we have one, two, three, four, five left. Cool, let's go inside. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Yeah, well, you know, we need to make some water. I was gonna make some water, but it, that didn't happen. So let's grab a bunch of these sticks up. And we'll start another fire. And cook some deer while we wait for a blizzard to clear. At least we got a little bit of food. <sighs> Let's see. A whole bunch of sticks. We get at least three hours on that fire, and we'll use the pot this time because it's quicker. Got even worse, 16. Eat that, we'll make a little water since we don't have any. Now we have a blizzard to contend to contend with, which is fine. Uh, 38 minutes, we need a couple more minutes on this fire. Whoop, and another stick would be great. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. I want to add fuel, not take torch. Put that outside. Get back in before we get too beat up. I don't think that did too much to us. I mean, it's, it couldn't have been outside very long. Sometimes it sometimes it wears on you pretty good. Yeah, see, this is one of those things that, that's coming down. Of course, that's part of that wolf attack, so we're fine. We're just going to have to kind of be careful with stuff. So, alrighty. I guess we're going to try to cook some water and read a book for the rest of the day. 30 minutes until melted. Let's read some of this book. See if we can get this fire starting up to where it needs to be. Of course I can't focus on it while I'm this thirsty because I'm an idiot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cook a bunch of water regardless of the sounds outside because we don't have any. Let's see how much of this book we can read. Before it gets too dark. All right, time for bed. Drink some water. We're going to kill this book before we go do anything. Because that'll, that'll get us something that I really, 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 really want. Thank you. We're going to get an aurora in the middle of the night. That's wonderful. Can we get three hours? It's not too dark to read. We have an aurora. It must have just come on. Weird. I'm. Come on. Come on, game. Huh. All right. Well, past time until the sun comes up. We're gonna kill this thing. And right there. Go outside. Get you a steak. 
Let's finish this book. Thank you. Gosh darn it, I forgot to put those down. Hey, you, you forgot to put your stuff down. Carrying around stinky guts and things on you. Look at you. Get your head straight. Put down there. Drink water. Read book, get it over with. So we can get this last skill point. It's right there. This book will do it. One more fire probably do it, but this book will get it done. Bang. Yes? Hey! Alrighty, cool. That's what I wanted. Nice. Fire starting five. Fire starting five. We got three things in five already. Can start fire. What is this? 90% chance now. So that means with a match on the fire, it's 100% every single time. Fire starters the 50% faster, 50% longer. That's why you want it when you get to the five. Because now I can start a fire with a match at 100%, meaning I don't have to worry about torches anymore, I don't have to worry about accelerant anymore, I don't have to worry about any of that crap anymore. So, awesome. All right, so day is done, day is new. Let us, I guess, we'll grab a little bit of that water, drink a little more of this, and with what's left of the episode, I think we're going to go to the mine, hopefully. I think we can get there. Um, I think we can get there. I think we can get there, right? Let's, uh, I'm going to bring, let me do a little bit of thought here and we're going to leave what we don't need. Actually, I think we're pretty good. You got your bows, you got your stuff. We got way more torches than we need. Amazing. The only thing I tend to do, I guess we don't need that many of those. The only thing I tend to do when I leave out of here and I head for the direction that I'm going to go is that I usually like to make sure that it's not windy. So I guess we're leaving. All right, let's go. To the mind, my friend. Mine, not mind. Mine. Then we can start mapping this area. Please don't blow wind. I don't. I need you. I need you to stay down. I don't have any torches. I don't have any flares, I should say. And I don't feel like killing five doggos in a row. <laughs> Bank. That doesn't put anything down. That's interesting. Hmm. I figured that there was something there. I thought that there was something at that fire barrel. Anyhow, let's go up here and check this corpse. Go behind some things. Oh, you are so dramatic. Although I will say, I will take Astrid over Will any day of the week. For a grown-ass man, he complains an awful lot, and he huffs and puffs like an old choo-choo train headed up the hill. It can get so annoying so quickly.
Hit a fire real quick, grab us a torch, and hopefully walk through this wolf mess without any problems. Hopefully. The unfortunate thing is I think we're going to have to map Wrong some of this. Oh, That's what I love about fire starting fire. Did you see that that lasted 10 minutes? That means I can light a fire with a stick and pull a fire or torch off of the fire and not lose the stick, basically. I don't have to add a second stick. So that's what I love about Fire Starting Five, is the amount of time that a fire lasts. Please don't blow out. I'm gonna see if I can do something this time without breaking my ankles. Oh, I might be able to this time. Break, don't break your ankles. Come on. Nope. Come on. You can do it. It's one of those spots that sometimes it'll let you up even though you're not supposed oh. to. Yeah, there we go. Ankles. Oh, I think we got it. There we go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why they didn't make that so you couldn't do that, but whatever. Now we got to patch an ankle so we can run. Okay, and I guess I'll just take pain pills because we have a bunch of pain pills. Go ahead, get rid of them. The hand I'm not worried about unless something happens. <laughs> just go away. I don't want to, I just don't like the fuzz. The fuzz sucks. Okay, cool. <sighs> we'll have to fix it once we get inside, but I'll probably just sleep it off once we get into the cave. First of many. Not even going to bother with them. I'm just going to walk through this area. I think we have to do that waterfall. In which case, I might have to shoot four wolves. But I think we're going to go for the cave over here first. Go in here, drop aggro real fast, warm up. Don't go out, Torch, please. Don't go out. I need you. That's why I didn't throw all of my torches away. We have lots. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to let that come up just a little bit. I'm going to go out here. Oh, God dang it. Get out of here. Get. Just go. Oh, so cold. And survey. And indoors. I don't know if that did anything or not. Gosh darn it. Press the right button. Select. No. All right. Onwards and upwards. Oh, take all the clothes off. Throw the torch about right there. Oh, you sucker. There was no water right there. Where did it land? So there's water right here now. Lovely. Awesome. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. 
I think you'll be fine once we get sorted. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh crap, I didn't get my gloves off. Well, it's okay. I think we're going to take a nap once we get up here. We're going to have to in order to get rid of the sprain wrist because I don't feel like bandaging that either, even though I have plenty of cloth. Come on. Backpack. All right, deer carcass. Fire. More matches. Well, shoot, I'm going to go cut him up. We're going to take a nap, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I can actually cut him up. Hmm, how much is on you, buddy? Come on, little fire. Come on. Go away. You're good. Uh, this, this is another one of those things. Some people say it works better. Some people say it doesn't. I tend to say that that works better to take the wet clothes off and place them within the radius of the fire. Oh, crap. I'm not cooking everything. Hey. much have you got left put a pot down do that much water Seven minutes, six minutes. It's not going to get there. Well, now. Now, we need to get rid of this, which is two hours. So, we'll just pull that torch and we'll put those back on. And I'm going to sleep two hours, even though I wasted a match. We have a thousand matches. Two more pieces of coal over there. Two hours, please. Excellent. Pick that back up. Just go ahead, light one. Don't even care. We have so many matches. I am going to take these to the top of the hill. Ooh, there's a backpack. Can we check it? Uh, I don't anymore. want your ragged hoodie. I don't need it. I'll pick that up, I guess, right now. Is there any more coal laying around in this area? No. Okay. And is the body? There it is. Okay. So we'll take the, the hide, the guts, and we'll leave them right there at the entrance. Really probably shouldn't be running... There he is. I was wondering where he was going to be. Again, I mean, make another fire and, and deliver some stuff, I guess. One second.
Okay, so wolf's taken care of. We've got to seize decent amount of food now at this point. I guess we've got a piece of wolf and a piece of deer, so we can definitely just head on to the mine from now on. It's going to be dark, well dark, by the time we get there. So I think what we'll do... She's got plenty of an eyeball. Should be able to get there. Let's see what the weather's like. Uh, that's a big nope. Well, that, that's, that's amazing. Okay, well, um, hmm, let me do this. Three or four sets of guts and a D, a wolf hide and a deer hide. Beautiful, good stuff. That'll, that can just wait right there for us. And I, I mean, I really hate to cut it, but otherwise it's going to be an incredibly long episode. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to let that blizzard kind of blow over. And uh, I will see you all in the next one, because right now we're not going to wait at that level of time. It's almost midnight or it's almost time to go to bed as it is. And we have a bunch of stuff plus a bunch of food, which I can for sure eat. So next time we will go to the mine, I guess I ate the deer, deer, whatever. We'll go ahead and eat him down, get rid of it. Got a little bit of water on us, got a little bit of snacks, a little bit of food, a little bit of everything else. And I guess I will, um, I will see you all in the next one. I was planning on heading to the mine today, but <laughs> we kind of got sidetracked, which is fine. It'll be okay. I'm not really worried about it. So until then, I will see you all in the next one and hopefully we'll be at the mine. So I will see you all later. Bye.